these. All right, let's grab that. We're gonna grab all of this stuff. We can grab because these are all our kills. Shut up. Shut up, I say. I have got loot to loot, and you're gonna just hold your tongue until I loot all this stuff. There we go. All right. Down we go here. What is this? Use lime root. All right. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. Open the gate. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Fought back the corruption. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, I feel like I need an achievement for that freaking thing. Jeez Louise. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nicola came through. Also, I need a save point, definitely. And there it is. Believe it or not, this is not even halfway through the game. We are about a quarter of the way through the game right now. Are you you're the Banuk dude, right? So you're you unlock the frozen wilds? Is that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there. Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. <laughs> hmm. Indeed it is. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? A I lot. have some acquaintances <laughs> out there still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuke funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. Alright. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Okay. Yep, that is the DLC, which I believe is level 30 or something, right? Like, I don't think I'm equipped for that yet. Um, yes, that is level 30. That was a good guess on my part. Um, yeah, I'm not equipped for that yet, but I will be doing the DLC before we finish the main game, definitely. Also, I have three skill points now, which we're definitely going to use, but let's go do the Daughter's Vengeance, because we're right here for it, and, um, then we can look at the, um, I think there's more quest givers here, too, yeah. Then we can look at the, uh... 
main quest maybe? I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get to the main quest tonight, honestly. Let's just get some of these side things done. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. I'm just glad I got the First, cauldron done. First, Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears. So I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again. I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. <laughs> please say yes. Please say yes. There's some kind of weird... Uh... Uh, issue here, some rendering issue, where it, as the it's like having trouble rendering these guys in time. Uh, uh Sundom. Day Tower. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory, a trading post, a way station, one with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Azaram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azaram for years. Abad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. <laughs> It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun, and what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. <laughs> still want to talk to you about the other thing, though. Any word about our missing men? I'm still working on it. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. 
Wait. Saeed is here. He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Alright, I'm good enough for me. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. Go up and talk to Zaid. That's what I say. Don't you forget to stock up before you're on the road. Also, let's look at that. The derangement data points. One of eighteen. I'm not gonna go through the data points. Um too much. I already know them. Um, and this is not the first series I've done on the game. The previous one I went through everything in detail, but I might actually from time to time dip into them and and uh, actually read them. You're Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people. And I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Something today. Okay. Only the finest goods here. Keep yourself. And let's talk to this. Uh... Can't trust him. Not after Fine what Yon told for me. A fair price. That garrison is my only lead. Let's uh, let's grab this supply crate first. Some metal shards going, and then let's talk to this merchant. Um, I still do, twenty four hundred fifty one shards. That's all I got. But see, I'm using shards in order to make arrows too. That's the problem. Um, 
What do I have to sell here? Anything that isn't also used for trading and crafting? No. That will be a negatory. Um, okay. Well, we'll have to... Sell off some of these green mods. That gives me a few shards here and there, anyway. That's good. Um, might as well sell that one off, too. And what do we got here? 27, 43% shock oil, 27% shock oil. I think we'll keep the 43. 24 corruption, resist corruption, handling. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, can I buy some potions? The full health potions would be nice. 320. Uh, uh, I wonder if I can craft them. I think I can. I think I can craft them. Let's look at what the uh, the crafting is for that. Resist potions, health potions, full health potion. Oh, it's much easier to craft. <laughs> Doesn't take any shards and it's just a, a bunch of meat. Okay, that's that's fine. We have to collect a bunch of meat anyway. Also, we have three skill points. So we are going to take the strong strike plus, definitely. Uh, leader strike is the next one I want to do, which is take down heavy and elite human enemies, because that'll help with the with the bandits and stuff. And uh, basically, we're gonna do we're gonna do dodge prowess. Um, I mean, it's nice to have a longer dodge roll. That's certainly really good. But uh, really, I'm gonna do it just to get quiet sprint here, um, which is. Very nice. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, precision. We've got double shot, triple shot. Concentration. I feel like the concentration would be a good one to get next after that. Um, and also fast reload here on Brave. Uh, the rest of these are... I mean, Expert Carver would be nice as far as crafting all of our resources and stuff but uh it's not as important i think as these other things the, the prowler stuff the reason i've gone heavy into prowler is because it's just on this difficulty level you basically have to sneak up on things um it's really the only way to get around a lot of this um so daughter's vengeance so we go to Lonesome Rock for more information on her. Uh, we've got errands. Let's get the Forsaken Village Blonde. The Captain of the Day Tower Valley for a missing Karja patrol. Right, okay. And then these are things that I've put on there. Maps and stuff. I'm trying not to get the maps until I until I have until I get a another um Another um, thing, Medusa. Medu um, what should we call it? Um, armor piece. And got tall necks, hunting grounds. So the lower hunting grounds remove casters from grazer from grazers. In a minute thirty. Um. Log pile kill machines using the log pile traps in the area, right? I remember that. Uh, and then last wire trial kill grazers using the car to trip caster. Okay. So we could actually do these um, and get the the full the blazing sun boxes on those after a fashion. And then these uh, valley meat is shoot strider canisters using fire arrows. Okay. 
Uh, stun bellow backs and shoot canisters off the undersides. That one's a rough one. Um, I mean, these are all pretty rough ones, especially the time you need to do them in, but still. And then the freeze trial, kill machines while frozen. Basically, these are, I mean, it says level 18 and level 8, but really, you want to, like, you want to be maxed out on all your, like, concentration and your reload speed and everything else, because that's the only way you're going to get the, the top time there. So, I'm going to hold off on these until I'm far, far over-leveled for them. Uh, so, we did Cauldron Sigma today, which is good. I'm glad that that's done. Uh, we still have, there's a ton more cauldron. I think there's like four more cauldrons and none of them get any easier. Um, so that's a, the thing to deal with. Uh, and why I'm missing Braves and Devil's Thirst. This is another one that's, should be able to do this one. I think there's a, there's a, there's a big, there's like a, mini boss here that we have to deal with um we could do that but i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off friends and uh we'll be back to this one we'll be back to this tomorrow because I, I it's i know if i start anything right now it's gonna i'm gonna go over time um so let's uh let me see the main thing, Revenge of the Nora, Nora is that one. So you have Sun Capitalist Harder Sundown. So these give me skill points, which uh, is very good, having some extra skill points. So I'll probably come back and do Revenge of the Nora um, later on. But uh, let me go to the. Let me go to the campfire here, and we'll do a proper full save. There we go, and that will that will be it uh, for tonight, my friends. Uh, for those who will be watching the VOD on the various uh, video sharing sites, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.